Hey guys, welcome back to Sky Factory 2.5. I'm currently standing in the last millennium in our new Thomcraft area, which I haven't done any kind of decorating really in. I've just moved stuff in here and uh, set it up so that I can work in here easier. Uh, let's take a tour real quick before we get started with our work today. So uh, I'm starting off facing north. Northeast corner we have, this is where the cauldron was originally, and I put the crucible next to it. Underneath the crucible I've got a uh, block of pyrothium down there to keep that thing um, hot and boiling so that uh, we can use it for crafting and stuff. That'll come in handy here in a little bit. Uh, behind it, I've got a uh, water source block back here. It uh, refills from the sides and a transfer node with a world interaction upgrade to keep this thing full of water at all times. Very important. Uh, southeast corner, I have my mundane accessory storage uh, caches, caches down here and chest full of stuff. These actually I can move out of here. Other chest full of stuff. And another chest full of stuff. All Thomcraft stuff. We've got tons and tons of these armors. And uh, as far as I know, you can't recycle these anymore in the loot recycler. Or they're only worth like one point a piece or something. So, I don't know. Anyway. Uh, southwest corner, we just have this one little research table and a arcane work table. This is like the crafting area and research table. Uh, I need to put a light over here. This little uh, lamp actually doesn't provide much light. If I pull up the lighting overlay here, it doesn't give light to any block except for the ones adjacent to the base here. Like, not even the corner ones. Uh, the pyrothium I have over here is giving a light out in a pretty good radius. Portal doesn't give light to itself. Nothing else has light. Anyway, last corner. Armor stands with our gear on it. There's our Thaumaturge gear that I showed off last episode. Uh, we had a achievement complete for that. The second set here is the Crimson Cult Robes set. It all gives uh, discount and warping, and warping is bad for you, so I'm going to not do anything that has to do with warping. Uh, the third one is also Crimson Cult, but it's more for like a melee, like a knight. And there aren't any boots that go with it, so I just put the boots from the robes on here to complete a set. Since they're from technically the same thing. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to have to move this set to the left one space because there's a Thaumaturge Void armor set that goes there. And uh, to the right there's an empty space here because there's a Crimson Cult um, something else. There's like an upgraded version of this set of armor that goes there. Praetor. Crimson Praetor. There we go. I forgot I had looked it up already to make sure there wasn't any boots for this set. So there's the four robe pieces, three for the armor, and then three for the upgraded armor. No boots for either of the armor sets, which is kind of strange, but whatever. Anyway, so today, here's what we're going to do. I'm trying to do everything in the Artifice tab, right here, of our Thaumonomicon. One of the things I haven't done yet is this, uh, it says basic artifacting, or artificing. I have not made this primal charm yet, and I really want to. Uh, to do this though, we're going to need this balance shard. And to make the balance shard, we have to use our crucible with two of every essence, or two of every uh, aspect in it, and then a shard. Oh, well, whichever shard that we're using, we don't need the aspect um, for that one, but we need two of each except for the one that we're using the shard for. And uh, throw it in there and we get the balance shard back out. So, 
Um, dang rain. Anyway, so here's the setup. This thing probably does damage to you or lights you on fire or something. If it's being heated and you stand on it. But my armor is totally protecting me, so I can actually stand inside of it and be totally fine. Anyway, uh, so we have these ethereal essences from the nether when we were killing those little wisp guys. And each one of those has uh, two of its aspect plus two arum, which is like the aura um, aspect. So I'm going to use these to make the two of each, except for the uh, terra. I'm going to be using a terra in earth shard, so we don't need the terra um, aspect essence stuff. So that's why I've got it pulled to the side here. But we need the other ones. And I'm pretty sure... Uh, let's see, I've got my magnet mode turned off. I'm pretty sure we can just... Yeah, just drop them in like that. And... Oh, we got it. Balance shard. Alright, now, we're going to have a whole bunch of extra, like, magical stuff in there. So let's shift right click with our wand and it should disperse. Yeah, there's the mess I was trying to avoid, in the overworld anyway. Leftover magical goop. That should disperse over time. Anyway, so we got our balance shard. Let's put this away. So now we need one of each shard, plus the balance shard, and two pieces of gold. So, um, I got all these infused stones, elemental infused stones from the deep dark, with our silk touch pick. Um, kind of over time, I've been collecting them. So uh, now we can actually break them down and get the um, shards out of them. And I have a Fortune 3 pickaxe, so we should get the most out of each of these. Let's put this wand away. Not quite sure if they give you multiples or not with fortune. Looks like they do. So yeah, that's pretty good. Also, I'm trying to figure out this vis stone. I think it works like the wand does, where uh, if there is the little uh, essence things on the ground, when you would pick up like experience orbs, uh, the little colored other dots on the ground are actually the aspect dots and this will absorb them off the ground, but it has to be on your hotbar. <clears throat> the wand does the same thing. I've been recharging it just going to the nether and the grinder and just attacking stuff, and it fills up in just a couple of kills, because it only holds 25 of each um, aspect there. Anyway, I haven't seen it get anything yet, but I haven't seen any on the ground, so... Okay, getting plenty of these. One second. Alright, just making sure the recording is still running. Oh, so uh, the game crash on the uh, fluid interface, on the ME fluid interface, it's done that several times to me before. I think I mentioned in a previous episode that... Um, whenever I made it. Like I showed it and then I was like I'm not gonna click on it because it'll crash my game and it doesn't always crash my game it just kind of sometimes does it and it's annoying when it happens but it doesn't happen like every time so uh, I tend to just avoid it if I don't really need to get into it but uh, if you guys know what causes that or a way to prevent that from happening let me know because I'd like for it to not do that. Okay, so... We get one of each here. 
and our balance shard and then we need gold I actually did not bring gold no I didn't alright let's uh, head out of here pick up two gold ingots not click on that oh I also know uh, last episode whenever I was typing the um, typing the uh, shortcut name for this I spelled it M-E-L that's just because I'm in the habit of typing M-E referring to the uh, the M-E system here so whenever I went to type Millennium I hit M-E-L instead of M-I-L but I fixed it no worry <laughs> I'm a stickler for typing, or typos and stuff, so it only lasted about a minute or so. Um, Alright, let's head back. Okay, now we have to craft this in the arcane work table. Our wand has to have 25 of everything in it, which it does. Made sure that was full. So, we go... I don't know if these have to be in any particular order or not. We're going to find out. Insufficient. Hang on. Didn't it say 25 of each in the book? Yeah, it says 25 of each here. insufficient um huh it needs 27 of each okay let's try this oh I know why it's cuz my wand is really bad wait a minute isn't there a way I can like Nope, okay. I was going to say, isn't there a way I can just uh, shift click on this to swap armor with it? Alright, how about now? Now everything is 25. Alright. Yeah, the wand, um, this wand is like the first wand you start the entire bombcraft process with. It actually gives you like a 10% penalty on everything. <clears throat> so that's why it was higher than it was supposed to be. All right, there's our primal charm. Supposedly, this primal charm, according to the wiki, supposedly this primal charm will drop those little uh, essence orb things on the ground randomly. So I'm going to just keep that on my character. Yeah, there's nowhere to equip it or anything. So yeah, this wand, um, the wood and iron wand, has a like 10% penalty to everything, and the full set of gear here that I have adds up to 10%. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So they balance back out. And then, uh, oh yeah, there's one right there. Look at that. Can I pick you up with this? No? Do I have to have my wand on the hotbar? I guess that thing does not pick up orbs like it's supposed to. Huh. Anyway, what was I saying? Uh, the wand is really, really bad. So uh, I'm going to have to make a better wand. I've got all the research done to make better wands. I just haven't done it yet. Uh, I did the research for copper caps, gold caps, and great wood wand core. I just don't have any great wood saplings to make this with. So I'm gonna have to figure that technology out. I think I can get great wood saplings from loot bags. Uh let's see, great wood sapling. Witch water bucket. You can actually craft these with dark oak. Uh epic loot bag has one arcane infusion table you can make one out of a jungle sapling and a ton of witch water yeah this looks way too complicated like forget that method we're just gonna go with loot bags 
we're going to take the easy way out. Uh, and we'll also probably get some more of these witchery saplings too. Those are those are useful for witchery whenever we get to doing that, which I don't know if we're going to or not. If uh, anybody out there is a fan of witchery and wants to see me do a lot of that, let me know. And uh, I'll get into it maybe after I get done with all the Thomcraft stuff I wanted to do. I can also get dimlets. There's quite a few dimlets I'd like to get. Uh, the rest of this stuff is fairly mundane, or I can already do it. So Anyway, so epic loot bags. That's where I'm going to have to do. This should disperse already. Oh, now that does damage. Well, alright, we don't have a full, full durability set of gear anymore. Oh well. Oh, it's not the... It's not the magical stuff doing damage, it's the actual heat from the crucible that was doing the damage. Okay. Otherwise my shield would be going down on my armor. Flux flu. Huh. So that's the side effect from that stuff. That's a flux, apparently. That's the word for it. Alright, well we got our primal charm. Now what do we do with it? <laughs> I have no idea. Other than it randomly spawning little things on the ground. I actually have no idea. So, anyway, uh, that's going to do it for this episode. Oh. But you are left strangely inspired. Ah, did we unlock new research? Is that what that's for? Do we have new research now? Let me see. Basic stuff. Node tapping. I've been ignoring all the node tapping stuff. Maybe it was this over here? No. What's new? Alchemy stuff. I did all that research. All these uh, ore, ore purifications and transmutations. I unlocked all of those. These were already here. I really want to get this. Uh, these lamps unlocked. Did that one. I did the uh, bone bow and primal arrows research already. There's the goggles. Strangely inspired, it says. Nothing is showing up as new, though. Slivers for travel. Slivers for warding. Well, this I can just purchase. I don't have to actually do the research on these, it's just purchase them. Red Crystal, X Asteris. There's the Greatwood Sapling. Yeah, that's the Silverwood. Runic Matrix from this guy. Maybe it was one of these. This is the Batania crossover path. This is the X Asterisk crossover path. And this is the AE crossover path. Thomic Energistics. Yeah, I might get into this one and put a little Thomic um, ME system here. Did it add charge to anything? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I should maybe start carrying around one each of these just in case they do something. Oh, and I never scanned one of these amulets either. Huh. Alright, anyway. Uh, that's enough messing around here. Uh, I'm going to probably do a bunch more research stuff and unlock a lot of this other stuff in here. 
maybe do this arcane ear and until next time you guys have fun playing um, have a good day and I'll see you next time